الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين I start in the name of Allah the all merciful the ever merciful and the everlasting curse on the Satan and his followers Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family Our respected viewers allow me as usual to start with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs Al-Imam al Hussein, when he says one who pursues a goal through sinful ways will ironically distance himself from that goal and will eventually be approaching what he was afraid of. Our respected viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to Who is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, then talking about some of the events and stories that happened to him during his life, and then we mention some of the prophetic quotes said in his right by his grandfather, the Prophet of Islam, and then ending up with his unmatchable, unparalleled martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the previous episode, we spoke about the oppression and injustice done unto the Prophet's family, and how an Imam al-Hussein, as a young man, had felt that deeply. However, in today's episode, we will continue talking about the same meaning, yet in a more elaborate way. Immediately after the martyrdom of the Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessing and peace be upon him, Imam Hussein suffered the oppression of his family when their house was attacked to force his father pledge allegiance to the first tyrant, Muawiyah, Allah's curses be upon him. In the course of the onslaught, Imam Hussein saw his beloved mother being assaulted and gravely injured, which resulted in the martyrdom of his unborn brother Muhsin, alayhi salam. After the attack, his family was drugged from their house and Ali was compelled at the point of the sword to pay allegiance to the newly appointed false ruler who threatened to kill Ali in front of his family in case he refused to pay allegiance to the first tyrant, namely Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan. In the months that followed, Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam would suffer the loss of his mother who would finally succumb to the injuries suffered during the assault. Baba was far from the end of his sorrows, alayhi salam. One after the other, he would have to watch his family fall to the sores and poison of the enemies of the Prophet house. First his father, then his mother, and his younger brother, al Muhsin alayhi salam, and then finally his older brother, al Hassan alayhi salam. One after the other. What Imam Hussein alayhi salam saw was beyond the human ability to bear. Indeed, it was that. Our respected viewers, as a youth, Imam al Hussein felt the pain of his family and the oppression they went through, however, and fought for their rights as well. A Suyuti, may Allah be pleased with him, reports that once, when the second tyrant ascended the Prophet's pulpit to give a sermon, Imam Hussein stood up and shouted, Get down from my father's pulpit. Thus, shaming Yazid before the public, he forced the usurper to acknowledge the following. It's the pulpit of your father, not the pulpit of my father. Imam Hussein alayhi salam would need this bravery in the years that followed when his brother Imam Hassan alayhi salam was martyred. Imam Hussein was one of those carrying his body. Hassan had already willed that he be buried next to his grandfather if possible, otherwise he will to be buried next to his grandmother Fatima bint Asad, may Allah be pleased with her. O Master of Martyrs, Peace be upon you when you were born, and when you were murdered, and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to interpret what his grandfather says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.